Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Ludwig Agner. How are you today? Great, thanks very much. It is a real pleasure to meet you. You're a age rejuvenation specialist, a neuroscientist that's recently joined Intelgenics' scientific board. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Well, uh, I'm a neuroscientist working uh, since 20, 25 years on, on regeneration, brain regeneration. Uh, more lately, uh, focusing more on rejuvenation. So that goes beyond, let's say, the last, you know, uh, the attempts of the last decades where people just try to protect neurons from dying. Now we are looking at the aged brain because uh, aging is the main risk factor for many of the diseases that we are interested in, for example, dementia, Alzheimer dementia. And uh, so we would like to go beyond just protecting neurons from dying, but we would really like to 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 make the old, the aged brain younger, with other words, really try to rejuvenate the aged brain uh, with the aim basically to finally uh, also develop therapies for dementias, for Alzheimer and so on. Okay, this is a very exciting industry and I'll tell you, my brain could use some, uh, <laughs> some work here. Um, so in particular, you speak a lot about uh, a drug repurposing, the drug delivery uh, in drug repurposing. For some of our investors out there that may not be familiar with this, can you tell us a little bit more about what this means? Well, drug repurposing is a very uh, also, let's say, innovative and, and very young uh, way to, to, to come up with new drugs for certain diseases. New drugs meaning um, um, the new use for already known drugs. Now, uh, if you just look at the costs of, of drugs to be developed, uh, any kind of completely new drug would cost, I mean, these days something like $2.6 billion uh, for, each single, for each individual drug. So these are huge costs. Now, if you are able to use a drug that has been already developed and, and used, for a certain disease and you find that this drug might be also useful for another disease you just you know take this drug and 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 uh, and develop it sort of for this new disease for this new indication that you are interested in and that's kind of what repurposing is or repositioning is also called so looking at Intelgenics' uh, website, uh, you're, the company is very focused on uh, Montelukast, which is used for the treatment of asthma. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Mm -hmm. Well, Montelukast has been, is already approved and it's on the market since more than 15 years for, the use, for its use in asthma. That's what, has, that's what it has been developed for. Now, um, we found out sort of through our you know basic scientific work that um, things that happen basically in asthmatic patients in the lung are also present so the, the molecular signalings uh, that are present there they are also we find them also in the brain of aged uh, people of aged uh, along aging and these signaling mechanisms also are already there uh, in in brains of neurodegenerative uh, diseases. So uh, basically, we we sort of found that what ha what is happening in the lung with asthma asthmatic patients is also happening in the aged brain. So that's why we sort of came up with the idea of uh, if we are able to to block this, and Monte Lucas actually does that. That's what it has been developed for. In, in the field of asthma. So if we block the same signalings and signaling molecules and mechanisms uh, in the brain, we might actually uh, be able um, to, to rejuvenate the brain or to make the brain younger and to block these, these, these signaling mechanisms. So if I understand you correctly, Intelgenics is working with Montelukast. They're looking at the drug repur repurposing options that you have and it looks like it might be used for, for age rejuvenation of the brain. Is that correct? Yes, that's, that's correct. Absolutely right. 
So in reviewing Intelgenics' website, obviously drug delivery may have an impact in the drug repurposing. Is that correct? And can you explain that a little bit better? Yes, ab absolutely. I mean, um, uh, you know, many drugs have been, for example, developed for a certain disease and even though uh, this drug might work for another in another disease you still uh, especially when we are talking about brain diseases uh, you still need to improve uh, for example <clears throat> this drug in terms of its pharmacokinetic so you know can we can we can we make this drug better for example available to the brain can we make it better so that the that the <clears throat> pharmacokinetic sort of the 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 speed and the amount of of drug that really enters the body can we improve that and that's basically uh, sort of what what we are trying with intelgenics because they are specialists in especially that field so uh, that's why we teamed up with with intelgenics well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Agner, for joining us today. And we look forward to follow-ups with you to see how this is going. Thank you very much.